What's up guys? So welcome to Nashville Exotic Cars and uh, this is my channel. My name's Adam and I just got back from a 4,000 mile road trip on this machine right here which is a 2019 Harley Davidson Ultra. Not to be confused with the 2020 Limited, this is the Ultra. Although very very much the same bike considering that I have heated grips installed and um, it's basically the same Midnight Blue and Barracuda Silver that you can get in um, the current 2020 model. In fact, you could even get it with the Chrome instead of the all blacked out version. But I, uh, I wanted to uh, put this as an introduction. I have filmed a series of videos. Um, the first one you'll see will be in Estes Park. And that's uh, one of the places that we stopped in. And I have now gotten back. I showed this bike dirty. Now I'm showing it to you in the beginning because I just cleaned it. So I've just orbital polished the entire bike, which is basically professionally polishing it. And um, I'm still gonna have to go through and get up, all, get all the excess, you know, kind of uh, stuff that doesn't wipe off. But this right here is midnight blue. And the reason why I have it in the sun right now is because I wanted to show you the flake on this bike. It's really a beautiful paint and you will never get, never notice it unless you see it in the sunlight. So everything sparkles on this machine in the sunlight. However, when you see it in the shade, it's dark blue and almost looks black. And in fact, at night, it actually does look black. So at night, this bike looks black and silver, which I love that color combination. And then in the day, you get this amazing blue flake. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And you really see it because when you're riding, you notice the blue flake the entire time you ride, which is really just kind of cool. So this is turning out to be a really nice color combination. I had uh, two ultra black uh, road glides before this one. This is like the first time I wanted to get a color one, mostly because I was just sick and tired of, of frankly, black motorcycles. Uh, they're impossible to keep clean. Now, grant you, this is impossible to keep clean as well, but at least it's a little rewarding when you do finally clean it. So that's fun. But yeah, this thing looks pretty good after a 4,000 mile trip through uh, Kentucky, Missouri, uh, Kansas, Colorado, Utah. Then we went down to New Mexico, uh, back through Colorado. Then we went through Texas. Arkansas and finally back to Tennessee and that was a long long trip and I'm exhausted this is just the day after but I'm gonna uh, put the bike away now she's looking good I really washed her good got through all the little nook and crannies and yeah you know this bike maybe doesn't look the most radical bike in the world it doesn't look like a you know a GTL 1600 it doesn't have all the over-the-top crap that a Roadmaster has although a beautiful bike nonetheless I just love the way this is like the whole package. This bike is just the whole package. You see, it's great at everything. It's comfortable. It looks fairly good. You know, it's not like it's gonna turn too many heads these days, but it's a good looking bike. Uh, but it's just the best of both worlds if you're a real rider. You know, it's really comfortable. It takes all the weight off the handlebars. And I've mentioned that in a few parts of the video. So you enjoy it. I hope this was helpful. This is uh, now going back in the garage here and uh, and she will rest in the corner next to the old John Deere. And that's that. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so I'm going to talk to you today about the Road Glide Ultra. This is a 2019 Road Glide Ultra. Bought it last Monday. And uh, I've been on a road trip. We're currently in uh, Estes Park. And uh, we're staying at the Alpine Inn. Today we spent the entire day riding the Rocky National Park, Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm going to give you the lowdown, you know, on this motorcycle. If you're thinking about getting a Road Glide, I'm showing it to you pretty much without cleaning it, without detailing it. It's got bugs on it and all the normal things. But um, this bike is the brand new one. Now it's not the 2020, this was the last one the dealership had, but it does have the 114, which has the new crankshaft over the Milwaukee 8, puts out 10% more power, and then it also has the new screen and technology package. Uh, the boom audio system from the Rushmore is still here. Um, I have upgraded just a couple of things. I put a 15 inch 
Clockworks windshield, which helps a little bit with the buffeting and kind of adds a better look to the bike. I put, of course, some good old, I like to kick my legs out. These highway pegs are phenomenal. And that's pretty much all I've done except for heated grips. Now the 2020s, they're 32.2 right now at my dealership, and those actually have heated grip stock. You can also get the engine all murdered out, but I'm personally a fan of the chrome. This is a midnight blue and barracuda silver, this particular version. So let me tell you everything I love about the Road Glide. First of all, you know, I had an Ultra Limited, phenomenal bike. Uh, the bike next to me right now is actually my dad's, and he's got the Indian Roadmaster. This is a beautiful bike. It's my favorite color combination they make. So ultimately, you know, this is a good comparison. Um, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't think you're going to meet too many guys out there that know more about motorcycles and have ridden and done more experiences on motorcycles. I mean, I bought this thing just as an example. Uh, I bought it last Monday and it's got 1,578 miles. I actually just did my 1K service in Aurora, uh, the Harley dealership out there. Here's what I love about the Road Glide. First of all, the looks, I personally actually like the, the Ultra Limited better. Um, the shark nose fairing is cool, but uh, ultimately, you know, it, it, it's probably not as cool as the Batwing. Uh, I'll, I'll probably give the vote to the Batwing, but the fact of the matter is all of the weight is off of you as far as your handlebars. So when you're maneuvering at slow speeds, it's very easy. The bars come up a little bit higher. It gives you kind of a more of a natural position than the Ultra Limited, although frankly, both bikes are very comfortable. Don't get me wrong. But this is an easier bike to ride. For me, being six feet tall, I'm a big guy, this is easy. I can sit on this motorcycle, right? And I can literally, this is how I ride it. One leg like that, one leg like that. You know, I kind of alternate between my left and my right cruise control. I sit about right here on the bike. So I sit over the bike and it's phenomenal. It's the most comfortable thing you could possibly ride. I did forget to mention, I do have the backrest here. This, this is an adjustable one. You adjust it right here. You can go kind of forwards and backwards. Now, you know, beyond that, everything from here back, you know, is essentially the same as the Road Glide, or excuse me, the Ultra Limited. You know, so you do have the one-click panels, which are awesome. You have plenty of storage and luggage space on this particular bike. So I keep my rain gear. I keep my inner lining in my jacket, keep my gun, keep multiple gloves. I keep, um, you know, I got a waterproof uh, pants here. I got winter gloves, of course the hat. If I'm really on long days, I got the road Zeppelin seat. You just take this off, you lay it right on the seat, and then this gives you a nice layer. So that's easy to close. You know, you, you put your uh, road Zeppelin seat in here when you don't need it. Comes with a nice little travel case as well comes with bags uh, you have a bag here and a bag here as well so you know the uh, tour packs phenomenal um, I will say that the thing that is most different about the 114 and the Roadmasters engine is in the technology of cooling so here you have a big old radiator you can actually see uh, the fans the fans will kick on when this thing hits a certain temperature now, if you're in traffic, it almost hits a certain temperature damn near all the time. So mostly when I roll, lately anyways, into a stop and, I'm sh and the bike I've turned off, these things will kick on and uh, they'll make a lot of noise and you'll feel the heat coming off of it here. But it really helps cut down in the heat right here because the one thing about the Indian, as beautiful as this bike is, right, it bakes you bakes you right here and this is the uh, the 2019 so they did add a little bit more airflow technology than the 2015 model which helps a lot with heat but it's still hot so that is one thing that Harley really excels at you know you do have link braking here so basically what that means is if you get over I think 10 or 20 miles an hour if you use your front brake it'll also give you your rear brake a little bit um, you know, there's your oil cooler here, and on the other side, I got my 1K service done. I elected to stick with the chrome oil filter, which is right there, and here's your horn. 
six speed. This is the 114. It's the brand new motor. You know, if you're getting a 114 versus a 107, I think that you'll notice that this particular motorcycle does have about 10% more pickup and you absolutely do feel it. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of some of the technology here. Number one thing they fixed, seriously, this is phenomenal, is that when you're riding with the sun behind you, you can still see the screen. They also gave you a ton of information. Now, this will tell you elevation, temperature, this will tell you how many uh, space or time you have left, uh, mileage, how, how many miles you have left as well in your navigation. Um, the whole thing is touch, which is great. You also have a hand switch here and a hand switch here, so you can kind of manipulate it. Um, of course, the bike soft is going to say check oil. It'll give you your miles per gallon, you know, your average speed. It's very cool. The technology. You know, sounds amazing. I'm not going to do the sound system here tonight. Um, Bluetooth is excellent. So Bluetooth, you're going to go right here to your settings. Scroll down here. Oh, there it is. You see how much faster it is compared to last year's. So yeah, it's excellent. I love the bike. So the technology is much better than it used to be. Here's how you can adjust your sound. The boom system is phenomenal. You know, you can hear it going down the highway. Um, it, it's, it's really a good system overall. Um, I do like the system. It's also in the Indian. The Indian has an excellent um, you know, entertainment system. You can see here you've got one air vent. You've also got this air vent which, which shoots air up and above you. Um, you do get hit in the face a couple times, that is a fact, uh, with bugs. But overall this gives you quite a bit of protection. This is uh, excellent storage. You've also got a cable down here. I use a little cable here so I never want to connect my phone. The other thing that's neat is you can pull these right here and this whole thing will block off pretty much all of your rain and your cold air hitting your legs and then you get the heat from the engine so that's nice of course we've been riding pretty hot it's uh, august right now so it's steamy yeah i'll give you one more look around you know i could crank it for you but basically you know, to hear a Harley, there's really no video that's going to capture it. You're going to want to go to your dealership and just turn the thing on and hear it. It honestly doesn't sound as good as this. This this engine, uh, Polaris, really, really nailed this motor. It's got three modes on it, which the Harley doesn't have three modes. This has sport mode, and when you put it in that, it's it really turns into a Haas. Um, but I love the seat. You know, the seat, two-tone stitching the only negative is it's uncomfortable like you can you can feel this and you can actually feel the stitching so that is one thing to be conscious of you know that seat is just feels great you know very much uh, like butter um so yeah here it is this is the bike we're going to enjoy it for the next uh, couple of weeks you know we're here and uh in beautiful Estes Park. Tomorrow we're going to Craig, Colorado, which is western Colorado. The day after that we're going down to Moab, Utah. And after that we're going to kind of play it by ear, probably go to Taos, New Mexico, and then back to Nashville. About 4,000 miles in total we'll do on this trip. So I hope you guys uh, liked it. If you have any questions about the 2019 Road Glide Ultra, you know, feel free to post them. I'll answer them. Uh, you know, it's got Dunlop tires. I mean, really I've covered, covered the bases. Um, you know, riding it, it's, it's phenomenal. It's uh, very comfortable. It's got a great power plant. It, it keeps you cool and it's got tons of torque, tons of power, but if you don't want it, it'll also lug and just be a really, really easy bike to ride. So, you know, definitely check it out guys and post your questions and comments are always appreciated. Y'all have a good night. We'll leave you with this amazing sunset here in Colorado. It's beautiful. What's up guys? So I just got home from a uh, 4,000 mile trip on uh, the Road Glide Ultra. And uh, this is brand new. I bought it just a couple of weeks ago. And as you can see, 4,034 miles. And uh, that is in two weeks. And then today, just to get home, was 515. I spent eight hours and 15 minutes actually riding today. And the rest of the time was just at uh, rest stops and stuff, but we left around eight o'clock. We were in uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. As you can see, this is what the bike looks like after this many miles. 
Now I have cleaned it every single night, so you're actually just seeing bugs from today. Um, but you can see there's a shit ton of them. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we call this rubber therapy. So we get all hot water and we get all into the bike, clean all these bugs off. Try not to create too many clear coat scratches, but the bike uh, was phenomenal. Didn't give me one problem. No oil leaks, no shifting issues, no overheating issues, no check engine lights, nothing. The Indian Roadmaster that was with me, uh, who was you know my, my riding partner on this particular trip anyway, he had an oil leak and had to take it to the dealer and it was just a freaking nightmare. Now, now they're looking, it's like his actual oil case is cracked and they're gonna have to take the whole damn engine out. So it's, it's gonna be major surgery. They're probably gonna need the, the bike for at least a week or two. Um, but this uh, Road Glide, man, it's, it's a really comfortable bike. You know, I sit on it, as I mentioned in my last part of the video, you know, I kick my legs out. I've got plenty of room to move around on the seat. I can adjust this back and forth. This bike is just phenomenal. I use the heated grips a bunch. We had rain, we had cold temperatures. We also had extreme heat. Uh, it was 106 degrees when we were in Moab. It's the hottest I've ever rode in. It's, it was just uh, unbelievably warm. From like 11 o'clock onwards, it was just uh, 99 degrees. And he, it was just like being in a sauna, literally. It was dry as a bone. But otherwise, I mean, even in that though, even when we were riding 100 degrees, this thing still kept going. Um, definitely got a lot of engine heat right here. You know, um, sometimes I had to kind of kick my leg over it. Couldn't just uh, ride it out like that because it would, if the wind blew in a certain direction, it'd blow it right onto my leg and roast me. Um, but really not really a problem. You know, if you're r riding in the winter, you're actually going to like that. And then if you're riding in the summer, you just kind of have to position yourself differently when the wind blows certain directions. But if you just stick your leg down, you know, actually on the uh, floorboards like you're supposed to, very little heat issues. So yeah, I mean, this, this, uh, this bike did well. You can see here, 4,000 miles. Obviously, we're not leaning much. We're just uh, riding the highway here. So, uh, looks like I'm already at the damn wear mark. Golly. <laughs> I gotta check my air pressure. It's very, very, maybe th this is low. But I could probably put at least another 5,000 miles on that tire anyway. But we, we did a lot of riding. I mean, we really did. There's the rear tire. Yeah, it was a great trip. You know, motorcycle trips are, are their own things, their own uh, creatures. You know, 4,000 miles is a lot of miles. It's a lot of conscious miles. You got to be very self-aware. You know, this is basically a 900-pound piece of metal. It's a machine. It only does exactly what you tell it to do. So if you mess up, it's your ass. If you treat it right, you shift good, you know, everything's smooth, 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 smooth. You know, you let traffic do what traffic does. It's a pleasurable experience, it really is. So, I just, you know, I, I know this bike maybe not doesn't look as cool as the Roadmaster or as a CBO or whatnot, but it just rides so damn well. The, you know, the Road Glide Ultra is just really f dialed in. It's just a fine-tuned machine. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to the next trip, which will be in a while. <laughs> Let's get past winter now. To be honest with you, I don't even want to get back on for uh, a while. <laughs> 2,000, uh, uh, you know, we did literally 4,000 miles. So I did my 1K in Aurora, Colorado. So it's had the 1K service. But hell, I'm almost due for an oil change again at uh, one more thousand. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, some of the other thoughts I had on the Road Glide. And uh, yeah, we are, I'm home. I'm so thankful I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee's such a beautiful place. It's like perfect weather here. Uh, it was so damn hot on the road. God, Arkansas was miserable. So was Utah. Um, so yeah, you guys have a good night.